Welcome everybody. Today I'd like to talk about de-embedding edge ports. Now right here we have an edge port, uh, this one being uh, number one, and you can see an arrow sticking out of it, and that is known as a de-embedding arrow. It's resetting the reference plane of the port, and that's what we're going to understand today. When we de-embed, we're actually doing two processes. First of all, we're actually calibrating the port. And what calibration is, is taking out the parasitics at the end of the line where the port is. Now this example here is a port uh, with a ground plane below it, and there clearly is a fringing capacitance uh, to the ground below it, and we will get rid of that with calibration. In de-embedding, what actually happens is once we know the properties of the line through the calibration process, we can change the reference plane. And in this example here, uh, the reference plane has been set to the end of the arrow. I should note that normally in our software, we simply refer to things as de-embedding, but we're actually calibrating and de-embedding. You cannot do uh, de-embedding without also calibrating in the process. What you're seeing here is exactly the uh, structure I showed you a minute ago in the PowerPoint slide. It is a simple line drawn in Axiom uh, on a dielectric layer that is 20 mils thick to a infinite ground plane beneath it. And we're going to look at the two different types of uh, ports on the edge ports, the explicit and the implicit uh, grounding systems and calibration of them. So let's get started with this one. And if I go to this uh, port and double click, you will notice the explicit ground connect to lower. Now what that does is it literally puts a uh, grounding ribbon between the port and the ground beneath it, behind the scenes. I can show you that by going ahead and looking at the mesh. The way we made the mesh is if you go to any EM project, right click, add annotation, you will come up with a menu that looks like this and I simply did EM Mesh F and so when you open up the 3D view of the EM project you see the mesh and with EM Mesh F we also see the grounding ribbon so you can literally see this ribbon going from port 1 down to the ground beneath it. I also went ahead and uh, did the same project again, but I used an implicit ground. So when we look at the implicit ground, notice explicit ground, none. And there is no ribbon. I won't bother to show you the 3D view of that. For each of these projects, I did not de-embed the uh, line. So there's no de-embedding no calibration going on. And the way I know that, if for example I go here to the implicit ground, look at the project options axiom, notice I have not checked de-embed ports. I then went ahead and I also, for the explicit ground, I have one here that I've calibrated. And you can see it says de-embed ports check. So when you de-embed ports, you're de-embedding and calibrating the ports. Of course, we uh, the D in bed length here is zero, but the but it still gets rid of the end effects. So let's take a look at this and see how we do. First of all, I just wanted to show you a Smith chart of the results, and you can see this blue curve here. S11 is the explicit ground from one to ten uh, gigahertz, the S11 of it. And it's what we would expect. We're basically looking at a capacitor since we just have a one port line. This S11 of a model is a model that I did uh, to compare things to. And we're using the MLEF element, which is a microstrip model with an open microstrip line, which should include all the capacitive effects at the end of the line. So we would expect this to be pretty accurate. Now, if we look at the phase difference for S11 for these various projects, and I'm just hitting uh, F8 here 
to go ahead and uh, simulate things. Let's let's take a look at the final answer. First of all, the blue line is the explicit ground axiom, but not calibrated. And the magenta is the explicit ground calibrated. And you can see there's quite a difference. By 10 gigahertz, we have about a six, uh, six degree difference here between the, the uh, calibrated and the uncalibrated explicit ground. The brown line, which is literally on top of the explicit ground cal calculated, is the model. So what I want you to notice is the calibration has taken out the error due to the fringing effects, the capacitance, uh, at the uh, first port. The final line I do want to show you is this red one right here with the hourglass. That is the implicit ground uncalibrated. Now, why is it closer to the model than the explicit ground uncalibrated, which is the blue line? The reason is there's no bonding strap. And so, therefore, what we actually had with the explicit ground was not only a capacitance, but a fair amount of inductance due to that grounding strap, and calibration took out both. Whereas the implicit ground uh, uncalibrated, we only have the capacitance, so it's actually doing better here. Incidentally, I haven't shown it, but if you go ahead and calibrate the implicit ground port, it will also lie right up on top of the model. Well, I hope you gave that uh, some idea what uh, calibration is about here. And I'm afraid we don't have time for any more in this video, but we'll be having more videos showing you more details of it. Please go to our website at awrcorp.com for further information or feel free to give us a call. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.